Hello everyone, welcome to this week's Astrology News Report, an alternate view of world events as seen through the lens of Vedic Astrology, presented by yours truly, Ron Berger. Today is May 10th, 2015. In this segment, we'll take a look at the week that was, how the planetary patterns in the zodiac matched up with the past week's events. An important principle in astrology is that anything that gets started will express the qualities of its birth chart, where the planets were at the time of the beginning of that new entity. Last week, the Mars retrograde Saturn opposition was taking shape in the heavens. This planetary pattern is a combination that produces tension, stress, and crisis. Therefore, not a good setup for initiating a new government. Well, last week, we had the birth of the new government of Israel. After weeks of negotiations with minor parties, Benjamin Netanyahu managed to form a government barely two hours before the midnight deadline. Here's the chart. As is plain to see, the crisis-inducing Mars-Saturn opposition occupies the first seventh house axis and is further boosted by the emotional moon in the ascendant in the intense sign Scorpio. Undoubtedly, the newly formed coalition government of Israel will have an intense, stressful, and probably short existence. And that was followed by the British elections, which gave the Tories and David Cameron enough seats in Parliament to form a new government that will keep him in his role as Prime Minister of the UK. For a chart of the new government, I have chosen the time of the first meeting of the new Parliament, May 18th. As is plain to see, the Mars-Saturn opposition is in full play, with baleful Saturn occupying the fourth house of opposition to the leadership. In order to win the election, Mr. Cameron promised the right wing of his own party, and the voters, a referendum on Britain's membership in the European Union. And he has to contend with a newly resurgent Scottish National Party, which won big and comes to Westminster with their own mandate and agenda. Obviously, Prime Minister Cameron will not be having an easy time of it. Meanwhile, Back in the USA, the 2016 presidential horse race has some new developments, and the rhetoric has been heating up. Note that as of last week, Mars has joined forces with Mercury. We now have the planet of combat combined with the planet of speech. Mars gives Mercury the courage to speak up. Last week, Presidential hopeful Hillary Clinton dropped a major policy announcement at a Nevada campaign event. In no uncertain terms, she staked out a clear position in favor of comprehensive immigration reform that would provide a path to full citizenship for illegal residents. Mars, the planet of combat, plus Mercury, the planet of ideas and communications, equals outspoken speech. Looking over at her chart, we note that the Mars plus Mercury combination in Taurus lands in her eighth house of transformations. Okay, two things here. Mrs. Clinton is quoted in the past as having said that she is against all illegal immigration. Sounds like she has changed her tune. And the reason may lie in another signification of the 8th house, 
It is the house of support. The support of the Latinos will be a critical factor in who wins next year's election. And the Republican presidential hopefuls horse race got a little more crowded last week with the entry of Ben Carson and Carly Fiorina, followed by Mike Huckabee, bringing the total of officially declared nominees to six. Huckabee is an outspoken conservative, and he wasted no time in making a popular populist attack on Wall Street, free trade deals, and efforts to cut Social Security and Medicare benefits. The anti-abortion, anti-gay, Bible-thumping Huckabee came out swinging, transformed into his former Baptist preacher persona to pump up the God-fearing conservative crowd with a fire and brimstone sermon about what's wrong with Washington and the world. Clearly another manifestation of the Mars-Mercury versus retrograde Saturn planetary pattern. On past shows, I have been pointing out that Uranus, the planet of rebellion, unexpected events, and eccentricity, is now directly opposite the USA natal Saturn, the planet representing structure, control, and the established order. Since the fourth house of a country's chart is the homeland and the common people, we can see that this Uranus transit would breed rebellion amongst the people. Well, this has taken a new form lately. The United States military, in its infinite wisdom, has decided to stage a rather large-scale practice exercise right here in the USA, dubbed Jade Helm 15, scheduled to take place this summer across the states of the Southwest, especially Texas. The freedom-loving, paranoid conspiracy theorists, represented by Uranus in this chart, always fearful of central government control, that's Saturn, planet of tyranny, have concluded that this military exercise is, really, a dress rehearsal for martial law. Making matters worse, we see that Saturn is indeed transiting in the twelfth house of the USA presently, which just torques things up even further. Led by such illumined minds as Greg Abbott, the new governor of Texas, and media gurus like Alex Jones, the fringe people are getting whipped into a frenzy and are prepared to resist the impending takeover by Obama and his power-crazed generals. All right, well, that'll do it for this week's Review of the Week. You can keep up with daily astrological developments and contribute your own thoughts by following me on Twitter at Astro News Report. See you next week.